hi guys so in last class we completed the, this rest util we created method uh, generic get method generic put post and delete methods okay now here we will be creating this this url generator okay so this class is nothing just simple we will be just uh, defining our endpoints over there and that we will be appending with the base url okay so let's get started go here under utils we need to go and create one class and give the name of this class as right url generator okay this name you can give anything okay just do, to have make some sense i am giving like url generator so this this means like it is uh, it is like here we are defining all our urls okay so public string uh, first we we will go for uh, get users okay get users okay one variable be created and the value of that variable will be uh, let me go here and get users right so this one the the resource we can we will give okay and base url we will be providing it from uh, properties file as i have already mentioned here over here you can see okay base url so just resource we need to provide it over there okay so just perfectly fine now now this is the first one then again next one is public string string uh, uh, add users right add users okay equal to what was that post method post method is like so this is this one slash users okay perfectly fine okay now third one is public string uh, update user okay equal to this one okay let me go to update user and this is what it is okay so this id see we will not provide this id over here whenever we'll write our method this user will provide which which id they want to delete it okay so we will just be adding till here okay till here and this we will just append runtime so when i'll write the scripts you now at that time it will be very clear okay just we are doing like this just you for time being you just be here and uh, just do what i am doing that's it okay public string delete user okay for delete user what is the url let me go over here and this is what the url is okay and this is like the one map object user will be providing from object okay that's it perfectly fine but one thing you can observe here is like see this is also same and users this is also same and this is also same okay then why instead of one variable uh, why we are defining multiple okay see we can use one variable also okay but the problem is what happens now in initial phase when developers will create application right create application the apis especially they'll create so those apis no this this will be getting changed very frequently for update they'll change something like that because many parameters they used to pass something they'll add and up and so it is better just good practice is to keep all all the apis as resources as separate okay and nothing else is there now here we'll create one constructor okay create one constructor inside that constructor will pass pass a uh, one string and what is that string that string will be base url okay so whenever we'll create any object of this this class so at that time we need to provide one base url and that base url will get appended before this before this okay so like as it is uh, uh, displayed over here see what it is doing it is just adding at the starting okay so this base url will get added at the start so this base url can be uh, means like see for this is a, running in our local host okay when it will run our application this application will be running running on uh, amazon then this this base url will get changed but endpoints will, will always be same okay these endpoints and the way to pass parameters these will always be same what will be changing this base url will be changing that's what we we have kept that base url 
over here to, we will be passing it from outside and just we will be appending so later if any uh, management people came and they'll ask to run your automation on uh, uh, azure environment okay then at that time what you will do you will not update everything right that's what this base you are we have kept it outside okay now now what we'll do just to be here get users okay equal to get base url okay base you all l plus this one okay uh, get users is equal to this is base url and this is get users by this error let me check it where you will declare so get affected get after this token okay oh sorry inside this it will be okay perfectly fine so let me format it perfectly fine now what is the next one so now see the get users what will happen it will append that base url whatever user will provide base url it will append and this this one it will append at the end so our url will be with base url and this one so this is like how beautiful it is okay so now the similarly we have to create for or this let me copy paste this and i'll update it okay Add users for add users also like this for update users also like this okay and if you'll not get any concept no just let me know i'll try to explain it with the different examples just post in comments okay yeah so yeah this we are done okay this is what the url generation and with this we completed this util class okay in util class we were having two models one was like rest utils and we generated all the generic get put post delete method and here generic url generator class okay yeah that's it for this video and in next video we will be going with either helper classes helper classes will go at the end and we'll create one uh, this properties file first and then after we'll uh, move to this resources okay that's it for now guys thank you